I like that approach a lot, actually, because I think sometimes, especially right now in the world, we go to the wishful thinking side. Yeah. Like you have the positive vision and you're like, oh, this is how it's going to turn out. Right. And then you ignore the bad stuff. Yeah. Or you ignore the kind of like the, the potholes or the loopholes because you're just like, oh, no, I don't want to focus on the negativity. Yeah. But can't. actually what you're saying is if you're aware of it, of those known unknowns, then you can actually break them down yourself. Well, yeah. It's, it's just like the same thing for any great movie. You know, you have to have the antagonist. Yes. You know, a strong villainous character will really drive the narrative along. If you don't have that, you have nothing from which your hero has to bounce off of. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that villain could be, you know, Maleficent. It could be something inside of you. It could be whatever, but you have to have that clear antagonist that's driving the narrative forward. And so in this sense, it's the same thing. You pick apart the negative and from that, you can then move, yes. move forward. Absolutely. What I'm loving here right now is that all I'm hearing is like Kobe the storyteller. Like I'm loving it. Like